Let's take a look at some bucket restrictions and limitations. This is not the exhaustive list as we will cover that later in the cheat sheets. But for now, I just wanna get some um, top level information to you so you can remember this as we're working through the labs and the lectures here. The first is that you can create up to 100 buckets within your AWS account. Uh, if you need more, you can open a service request limit to 1000 buckets. It's pretty easy to manage 100 buckets. Uh, I've, I've, I've definitely filled out 100 buckets before, but mostly it's because there's a lot of applications that can um, randomly generate bucket names for you and you might have a bunch of junk buckets. So you just have to better manage it. Often you do not need more than 100 buckets. You need to empty a bucket first before you can delete it. This will be something you will see again and again and again in labs that we'll have to empty our buckets. So make note of that. There is no max bucket size and there is no limit to the number of objects in a bucket. Um, there are limitations based on some things. So for instance, files can be between zero and five terabytes. I wanna make an emphasis that you can have a zero byte file uh, and you can have a, a file as large as five terabytes. Have I ever attempted to upload a five terabyte file? No, but the documentation says that you can do it. Uh, files that are larger than 100 megabytes, uh, AWS recommends to use multi-part upload, which we definitely show in this course. Um, and uh, the CLI does make it pretty easy to do. Uh, for S3 for AWS Outposts, it has limits. Uh, we'll talk about that uh, in the Outpost section, which is uh, separate from S3, where we talk about all, all of Outpost services and the, the, uh, the differences there. But the idea is that Outposts allows you to run a rack of servers, which is AWS hardware loaded with AWS software, and it has the S3 service loaded onto it. And so it just cannot do the exact same thing as the cloud version of it, but it's still very powerful to have if you can afford it. AWS uh, says in the documentation that for get, put, list, and delete operations, that are designed to be highly available, but for create, delete, and configuration option operations, you should run them less. Uh, it's odd that they would say, uh, that this is highly available for the delete, but don't run the delete very often. But I guess the idea is that, um, you know, they're talking about high frequency of configuration changes or uh, high frequency of these things. So, you know, if it's reads, uh, reads or updates, totally fine. If it's these other things, then, you know, you might run into issues. But uh, again, I've never had issues, but it depends at what scale you're working at. But the things I want you to take away from this is 100 buckets, 1,000 buckets. You got to empty that bucket first. Uh, there's no max bucket size and no limit on the number of objects. It's good to remember this as well. Zero to five terabytes. That definitely shows up on the exam. Uh, they love to hit you with that one there, but there you go. Okay. Ciao.